Elgu just dropped a huge bombshell in the 3D printing community, and we've got to talk about it. That's right, so Elgu just announced their newest FDM printer, which is the Orange Storm Giga Printer. This thing is massive. This is perhaps the biggest printer on the market today that I know of. Coming in at an 800 by 800 by 1000 millimeter build volume. This thing will probably take up a garage. So this thing will be featured on November 4th over on Kickstarter with a price starting out at $1,250. And uh, shipping is going to cost you on this one uh, from the statements in the uh, Elgu group on Facebook. It looks like they're estimating about $150 to the U.S., which is very inexpensive for a printer of this size. So this thing is going to feature Clipper firmware. It's going to feature a 7-inch portable screen to go along with it. And you can also get up to four extruders uh, to print simultaneously on this thing. So if you have a print farm or if you have multiple prints that you want to print at the same time, uh, you'll be able to do it with this printer here. Or you can just use the one single extruder. Uh, the possibilities seem pretty endless with this machine. It'll also feature four independently controlled heated beds up to 90 degrees Celsius. So you will have plenty of adhesion recognition over on the bed. And this thing features a maximum speed of 300 millimeters per second. And that's pretty fast for a machine of this size. Like I said, you will have multiple nozzle printing capabilities and you'll be able to use different colors of filament on this machine. So let's take a look at this printer here and find out all of the details. So let's look at the printing capabilities on this thing. It's gonna be utilizing a 64-bit 1.5G clock speed quad core high processor. It's gonna provide sufficient computing capacity while delivering six times the printing speed with a maximum speed of 300 millimeters per second or 150 millimeters, which is recommending, which is the top end print speed for the printer of this size. So you can add three additional print heads to the X axis on this and support printing four of the same model while each nozzle can be equipped with the same material and different color filament and all at the same time so no more of just one single print you only have your print bed big enough just to print one small item or whatever you can print multiple models at the same time with this so the cool thing with model makers is you can print larger models all in one piece or less pieces than what you're normally used to on a resin printer or on your smaller FDM printers. Can you imagine printing a bust, a full-size bust, all in one piece? Now there's no telling how long it would take you to actually print this thing, but imagine the capabilities of doing this. Now it goes without saying that there are some minor drawbacks to a machine of this size and printing like this size as well. The cool thing is it's got a recovery system on it if your print goes dead if your power goes out or but let's say if you just get halfway through this thing or three quarters of the way through it and you have a print fail that is a long time to be putting in a print all that time printing something just to have it to fail on you so what i'm hearing is it is possible to have something like a four day print and that sucker goes out on you on day two. Oh man oh can you imagine what must be going through someone's head if and when that happens because it's going to happen absolutely the other drawback is it isn't resin so the details are still not going to be there on some aspect you will still have print layer lines whatever uh, on your prints uh, but i mean that goes with the territory of fdm versus resin so when they launch this thing on kickstarter on november 4th it looks like the first 100 people can get the introductory price of this of $1,250. Then after that, the next 500 people will get the next tier up, which is $1,500. Uh, and they have a lot of different add-ons and stuff that you can get onto this printer, uh, such as a camera you can get for $20. I think each print head will cost $50. You can get three kilograms of PLA filament for $50, five kilograms for $80, a large spool holder for 50, different nozzle kits of 0.4 millimeter, 0.6 millimeter, uh, several other ones for $20, uh, four pieces of PEI magnetic platforms, that's for your heated bed for a hundred bucks, uh, and uh, they'll probably have all kinds of other specials on there. So if you are looking to get something like this, 
then you might want to be in tune on November 4th when their Kickstarter uh, kicks in and uh, get over there early and uh, sign up for that uh, $1,250 package. That way you uh, get that really uh, cheap price because after the Kickstarter is over with, it looks like this thing's gonna go up to like 2,500. Uh, and again, shipping is not included. You have to pay shipping on top of that. But from the, the Elgoo Facebook group that they're in, it looks like for US, it might be somewhere around the neighborhood of $150 to ship, which is not bad at all. Now the actual size of the machine is 1,214 millimeters by 1,118 millimeters by 1,372 millimeters. That is like, like the size of a dryer or a washing machine. Uh, you, all right, that's it everybody. I just wanted to make a quick video of this. Got pretty excited about it. And let me know what you think about it. Post in the comments. Are you going to be getting something like this? Is it just way too big for you to house in your house or whatever? Uh, is this something that really could make or break you in printing? You know the drill. Like and subscribe. And if you want to leave some comments below, please do. Let me know what you think again about this printer. Is it going to be something that you go for? Is it going to be something that you're going to pass up? What is the deal with printing this big? I mean, what do you really need to print this big besides? like a refrigerator or a doghouse. I think they even showed that in one of their examples. So but that's it, everybody. Stay safe out there. Get out and create something. Print, print, paint, repeat. And until the next video, everyone, we'll see you.